Internet. Ooh woo. Right. Ooh woo. I can't see anything on roll twenty. All I see Are we is supposed to blindness. I am blind. Now I'm not. <laughs> Uh, we've had oh, let me refresh. Oh, there we've we go. had terrible issues with uh, dynamic lighting last week. Oof. Not not in this game, but in the other campaign. Like we had to end it halfway through because people just stopped seeing it all. Oof. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> all right, can everybody see now? Uh... Yep. Try moving your token. Like. Hell yeah! Give me a Invisible. I I I can see. I okay, can see. Right. <laughs> all right. Now tell me why we why were all of you screaming for four hours last week, and what because happened? Because we fought a fucking CR seventeen boss. No, no. Let's start. Her... Let's start from when you arrived at the Fairy Heart Forest, as a proper recap shoot. Uh, do we, uh, do we did the... No, I just said I was getting out of rover mode. I'm still in rover mode. I'm trying to get out of it, I promise. It, it's, it's, it's fine. We, uh... Came I have very one thought. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the heart's corrupted. Uh-oh, we gotta we got do something about that. We go in, there's a bunch of... uh Yeah, there was a big winged milf, and we were like, Oh, ah, oh no, I'm a milf, I'm so afraid. Uh, and she almost killed all of us, and we were like, oh no, but then, uh, anime power, and, um, the Reverie's mom, and a bunch of her other family members were like, we're going to the, the fairy realm, Jimbo, and they were gone, <laughs> and we were like, oh no, um, and, they, and the, the mom somehow left a sticky note behind that was like, hey, at least save my baby, and we were like, okay, guess we'll do that, because it's all we can do. Um, and we, we, we found out that, uh, uh, the, the queen, the, the lord, what, what is she? The queen of witches? The something like that. Witches, demon yes. queen of witches. We went, through the, the, we went through the Shrek swamp. We were like, yes. oh no. Uh, she sent some uh -oh. minions at you. Basically we saying, like, uh, get out of my swamp. We were like, uh oh, there's bog creatures. We're gonna do the only logical thing. We're gonna stay in a hut, surround it with a giant warlock spell, and, and just pray. And we did, and it worked. Oh yeah, there was a giant crocodile too. Anyway, um, after that we went into the bog. Uh, I, I got set on fire. Other things got set on fire. It was really fun. There was a lot of fire. Um, then Merle then... touched a stream and went for a nap. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We nap. found out that there was a weird magic stream thing and we were like uh oh this this water this water ain't no good it's it's contaminated i i found that out it's... and then you arrived here yes and then well, you saw her the pendulous breast woman pendulous yes. breast woman yes really um, still hate that <laughs> it's really good <laughs> that's it's why i put it in the description it's really very good um, but yeah, so she came out and, you know, we thought the MILF was bad. We told ev everybody's gangster till the GILF shows up. And then we we're like, oh no. By the way, guys, I'm going to start a fight. Is it pronounced GILF or JILF? Fight. And uh, fight uh, and tear each other apart. Anyway, um, yes, we it's somehow. It's because it's Dranma. <laughs> Dranma. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's the uh, GILF, I think. GILF? GILF. Mm -hmm. Um,. I Jill, mean, yeah, before you judge me too harshly, take a look at that tongue and then get back to me. Anyway, um, mm. yeah, and then we I spent two and a half hours. Really tired. Yeah, we almost all died, but we didn't because we're really good. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh my god, we survived. It was, it was four hours of a panic attack. <laughs> it was. All right, and as you defeated her, what happened? Oh, yeah, uh, well, she had the baby, um, and it was in the cradle, and we were like, oh, fuck, well, now she's dead, and so then, let's get the baby. And then there was, like, the directions to complete a ritual. Towards Actually, there was home. a note in Sylvan. Yeah, yes, there was a sticky note doing. on the baby. Yes, yeah, yeah, a, a note in note. Sylvan that, um, that detailed a, a ritual that Reverie completed. Which sends my sister to the Feywild, and I cried, and it was emotional. I gave and her a smooch in the forehead, because she's baby. 
and immediately as that happened, what did we end on? Uh, time fuckery. I time got a message from my sister who is now a grown-up somehow, and is somehow not in the Feywild anymore, and she and has is... apparently inf invited you back to the heart. Mm-hmm. So, that's what we're doing. Is that guy part of this or no? Yes, he is. <sighs> you're my baby sister, and you're not supposed to have a boyfriend before me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you also find journals. So, in this cave, there's kind of a minimal living space that belonged to this um, demon queen of witches. Um, the note are all in Sylvan, although the writing uh, becomes more chaotic, more grotesque, and less eloquent as the journals progress. Uh, I will allow everyone to read them, like, every character to know what they're in, because you have at least two people who can actually speak Sylvan and who can translate for you. Mm -hmm. um, basically, from the journals, you, uh, you learn of the courts of Fey, that there is a dichotomy um, between the, sh uh, the unseely and seely courts. Uh, the journal h h depicts uh, a woman and a uh, tall man, as does this handout. Uh, from the notes you can d distinguish that one of them is Queen Titania, the leader of the seely court, and the other one is the current King of Spirits, who is uh, Basically, the head of the Unsealy Court. The thing is, Unsealy Court's queen is the queen of air and darkness, who does not have a material body or significant material presence. So she blesses. Yeah, she's mostly made king. of air and also yes. darkness, maybe. Yes, <laughs> and also darkness, maybe. Yes. Uh, so she always chooses a king of spirits, uh, who rule, who do, who does actual you know, rulership on a daily basis. Although technically, the Queen of Air and Darkness is the real ruler of the Unsealy Court. You also, uh, uh, so I am, I'm assuming you're traveling back to, actually no, let's not do that. Basically, over the travel back to the Fairy Heart, as you learn through the journals, you find out the story of uh, this particular demon Queen of Witches. She was once a uh, court noble in the Unsealy Court. Uh, and uh, she uh, once had uh, was a diplomat who served Hirsem, who is the second son of Titania, and, uh, or the first son of Titania and Abron, um, who came to Unsealy Court in, in part of the missions. She immediately fell in love with him, um, and to bring attention to her, stole the Black Diamond, which uh, is the highest, most uh, valuable, most precious artifact of the Unsealy Court that seats upon the throne, and brought it to Hirsam. To, uh, basically, the, in the journals, uh, she says that Hirsam and the uh, King of Spirits betrayed her and cast her down to hell, tearing away everything that made her a fae, and she spent centuries there. Until the Night of the Red Sky, where, although not being part of the attack, uh, she sneaked in into this world and took over this uh, magical forest, slowly draining it of magics in order to open a portal back to the Feywild uh, to have her vengeance, which, wa which is what was transforming this once beautiful forest into this uh, lifeless swamp. Um, apparently, Elythra uh, struck a deal um, that uh, she would steal uh, the Fey Guardian's newborn daughter um, in return for this uh, Demon Queen's knowledge of Fey magics and how to get past the magical barriers. She also brought Trick and Treat here, who are used as ritual sacrifices to transfer their blessing to Elythra, which is how they enter. Um, and. The reason why she wanted the baby is because apparently a baby of a Fey Guardian possesses an enormous amount of magic that is particularly compatible with Feywild, which means that it would pr basically allow her to actually open the portal, uh, which she has been dying, trying to do for the last 15 years. 
I'm going to go to the Feywild. I'm going to track her down, and I'm going to shank her. Well, she is dead. <laughs> the Elythra is in the Feywild somewhere. Uh, exactly. She I'm going to go to the Feywild. I'm shanking her dead body. Yeah, hell yeah. Yep, that's that's fair. Okay. Uh, that's what you learn from the journals. Uh, may I remind you of something that happened? Sure. Sure. This. Oh, oh yes. yes, that's right. I forgot about right. the cackle fever. So, uh, you need to cure it because I, if you don't cure it for a while, um, <laughs> you will get permanent madness. And actually, before the session, I rolled for the three of you what kind of personal madness you would get. Oh, oh. okay. Yeah, yes. that's fresh. Well, my staff allows me to cast... A f I haven't had to use my staff, which is very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Hold on, let me adjust this real quick. Hang on, uh, but the permanent madness. Reverie would get the permanent madness. Being drunk is the only thing that keeps me sane. Oh my god! Um, oh. Rue huh? would get yeah. a terrible, terrible one. I have a mm -hmm. unquenchable thirst for killing people, and I might kill at least one person each day. <laughs> you, I rolled a 99 on the D100 for you. Oh god. And the Merle's is kind of funny. Merle's is, I am convinced that powerful enemies are hunting me, and their agents are everywhere I go. I am sure they're watching me all the time. Oh my god, deep state Merle. Yes. Paranoid frog. <laughs> yes. Uh, you will only oh get the indefinite fitness if you fail to cure it in the next couple of days, <coughs> which I'm assuming mm. we won't go to, but I just wanted to know that these are the indefinite menaces that you would have gained accordingly. Shit. I mean, at least my madness just makes me, like, RP differently. It doesn't affect, like, my, uh, my stats. Or... Some of them are bad. I, mean, I, believe, I believe you would I'm, also, on top of that, get a long-term and a short-term one as well, because as they progress, and those can be bad, ah. it's okay. Okay, gotcha. For, uh, unless you're just saying, no, we don't care to, about this at all. I don't. We definitely care about it. I didn't say that. Uh, no. Use my ca staff of healing at all. I haven't updated my D&D &D Beyond because I was busy using mm -hmm. Roll20. So, I think I, I was at full charge for my staff of healing, correct? Which, yes. Right. Which means you can easily remove all three of those conditions. And uh, by the time you get to the Fey Heart, you will already have gained all the charges back. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Lesser Restoration on the three of us. Nice. Okay, you're no longer sick. We are Hooray. healed. Hooray. No fevers for us. We don't have the the Backstreet Boys reunion toy. <laughs> if anybody else gets that joke, because I've been watching Game Grumps over quarantine. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, me too. I'm, I'm not so grump, <laughs> so and we're the Green Grumps. <laughs> oh, <it's> just... <clears throat> right. Um, uh, you... It's weirdly... <laughs> <laughs> it's weirdly entertaining, you know? Shot and then I missed, and then shot again. And then I missed. <laughs> 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 Actually, the started playing Dog and Rampa was powerful, honestly. At this point, bro, that's yeah. that's all I've been watching. Anyway, sorry, we're, we're gonna we're not gonna go on this. Would you like to do anything or talk about anything on your way to Fairy Heart again? It's uh, like a seven day or two um, day journey. I'm probably like talk about just... Mars Rover. I'm kidding. <laughs> no. For <laughs> canon <laughs> in in universe. Bro, There's gonna be a helicopter on like, Mars. Like I don't, I don't think is uh, Mars canon. Is Ma Mars canon? Mars, Mar Mars is not canon. Um, but I, I am making a uh, what's oh, a, uh, uh, Pers perseverance is its name, right? Perseverance. Yeah. Name? Perseverance. Yeah. Yes. Perseverance Jeez. plus ingenuity as a, a double combo of creatures that you'll see in the next in the chapter after next. Oh. A new best friend! Oh, really? Friends, friends, yes. friends. It's my children. But, um, anyway, uh, no, I, I'm probably just, over the course of heading back, I'm probably just checking in with Reverie, so, um, probably just be like, um, Reverie, you okay? I, I know that was, that was a lot to deal with. 
Yeah, it was. Um, I, I'm okay, though. Um, she's okay. She's somehow here again, somehow. Yeah, I don't understand um, that, but... Um, <clears throat> but... At least... At least she's safe, I suppose. If she is safe, she can tell me if how mom's doing, I guess. Mm. Um, Maybe she knows what became of uh, Lithra or where she is, if, if she is still alive. And um, we'll, we'll track that bitch down. Hope so. I hope she's not doing anything bad down there or over there or wherever, whatever direction the Feywild is. Yeah, it's um, all kind of making my head spin, to be honest. But um, as long as you're okay, um, you know that if things ever seem too much, you can always let us know and you can lean on us. Thank you. Mm. I miss everyone. I know. Decided to show trick and treat what I was doing, what I was going to be, what I've been growing to be. <laughs> I know. I'm. I'm sorry. Not like it's your fault. Just because it's that... not her fault doesn't mean we can't be sorry. I mean. Thank you. I know it's not the same, but I know what it's like to miss your family. I think all I of us do, are. to a certain yeah, extent. I mean, we all do. I mean, my, my little brother is my very best friend, and I, I miss him every day. <laughs> I... I miss my mother, still. I don't. We're here for you. But it's that's At least I don't have completely no family anymore because I have you guys. Yeah. We yeah, all have each now. other. And you have your sister. Yeah. I, I have a splinter on my foot. Can you help me get it out? <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs> let me see. And I do my best to help with the splinter. <laughs> Whether or not that includes ca casting cure wounds or not. No, no, you can just do it. <laughs> uh, Magical you, tweezers. Okay. You, can yeah, all, tweezers. Uh, you can all reset to a long rest, or you can all get the benefits of a long oh. rest. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Also, this is, uh, this is uh, what uh, ingenuity is. It's a monodrome. Oh. oh that's cute. Mike was asking. Oh. Mike was asking. Mike is that Wazowski. you? Mike was asking. <laughs> Mike was asking. Mike was asking. Mike was asking. I've got my eye on you, Wazowski. <laughs> Always watching. Always watching. Oh, that's good. I gotta go back. And I watch really want to see the, the sequel where it's just Boo growing up and the parents being like, "Where'd she get the name Mike Wazowski from?" Mike Wazowski. What does Mike Wazowski mean? I'm very obsessed with the concept of her and Lilo like being oh, yes, college roommates. Definitely. Like, mwah. all right. Anyway, to the game. <laughs> all right. So uh, when you arrive back, uh, you see that the. Um, town is being rebuilt, uh, and the, some of the glow that was lost after f the fairy heart chattered uh, is returned. Uh, as you walk in, uh, Mimi actually, you can feel her untent, you know, like become less tense as she breathes in the familiar fey forest um, air. I give and her little pats on the head. She Not a little, on the horn, but on the head. She shoots a little <laughs> rainbow. Just <laughs> somewhere above the canopies, and you hear like a bird squawk. <laughs> baby, she's my baby. Uh, you see that the tent that was once uh, 
Arias uh, is now mm. inhabited by uh, a strangely familiar woman. And you can recognize her from your vision as Titiana, your baby sister. Uh, next to her stands uh, another fae wearing armor and a spear, and brandishing a spear, uh, although you do not know who he is. And uh, as you walk in, she uh, looks at you and she greets you with open arms. Uh, and a strange level of nobility and grace about her. You can pretty much, uh, her. you can pretty much, uh, well, Pechka, Ali, uh, definitely can. Uh, you will need to do an insight, everybody else. But uh, Pechka an and Alistine, Alistine can understand that these are definitely um, marks of uh, noble etiquette. Uh, yes, you do understand too. You you see that uh, she carries herself with an air of someone worthy of the Seely Court. Oh, mm. yeah, no one say. Okay, kind of like stop for a second, and I curtsy, but then I run up to her anyway, and I give her. I I wait if yeah, she, she wants a hug, but yes, she she embraces you. She's also like a foot taller than you. I bury my I'm forehead so into her so shoulder. Uh, yeah. And she I don't even know what to say. I don't have words. I just sigh. Yeah, she just uh, takes a moment to comfort you. Uh, hey. You're like big. <laughs> <laughs> It's been quite a while since I last seen you, sister. So, by the way, uh, Mimi's still on your head, so it's basically poking her in the cheek. Oh. Uh, and no. she will say... Can I back up a little bit? Yeah, she, uh, she will say... Uh, Probably. Uh, I see you already Fair found... About. I see you already found your pet. Ectiarn has been bountiful on you. And this is the name that she says. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for <laughs> spelling out the, the Gaelic for me. Yes. <laughs> or Celtic or Welsh? <laughs> I can never tell with that general area. Well, yeah. Like that it's like that long lake uh, name. But yeah. Ectiarn <laughs> is uh Lord of Unicorns and Pegasi. Oh very good. Baby. And you can pretty much understand that she clearly is referring to Mimi as being one of the creatures of Act I'm I'm not a pet. Uh, no, she, no, she wasn't talking about you, bro. Don't no, don't worry. Not a pet. <laughs> no, you're not. Um. So basically, she'll explain you her story. Uh. After she was. Mom, okay. Yes, she is. Uh, so after Boom. after she was teleported back in, uh, your entire family, which is uh, the five of you, gained the favor of Queen Titan uh, Titania herself. Uh, not only not only did you uh, not only has your mother been a, a loyal Fey guardian, um, serving her life to protect other Fey in this uh, world. Uh, but also, you have defeated a uh, person who is highly hated in the Feywild, the, the Demon Queen of Hags, uh, and retrieved her unholy item crafted in the Sealy Court, the Plague Maze, the maze that causes uh, decay and disease everywhere it is present. Uh, because of all of that, you've gained high favor within the Fey uh, structure, and um, Arya herself has been offered a seat <laughs> At the outer circle of the Sealy Court itself. Because of that, um, uh, Titia has been raised as a noble member of the court, uh, getting all the benefits of a magical, fey ritual, and fey uh, fighting uh, education. Uh, after she matured at the age of 20, uh, 
Um, she started working for the Sealy Court and eventually for Queen Titania herself. By the age of 50, gaining uh, renown and uh, reputation for being a very potent um, fae. Uh, worthy of being chosen the next guardian of this forest. By the blessing of Titania, uh, the heart is uh, res restored and Titan um, Titia, Titiana, uh, now with her full girl named Titiana Arialis, uh, is transported back in time to the exact point of time where the protection of Fey Forest has been suspended. You can also notice that she is carrying the lantern that seems to be a purified version of the lantern that uh, the Demon Queen of Hex herself wielded. She also explained that Oberil uh, is a, what's called a son of Oberon. Uh, it's not literally, he's not literally son of Oberon. Sons of Oberon are elite male uh, fairy knights who are trained and chosen to protect powerful fae. And he's basically her assigned bodyguard. And, and uh, basically she is now the new guardian of the forest and in a few days the fairy heart will be fully restored and the protection of the forest will be up once again. Oh, it seems that everything ended up working out in the end. <laughs> uh, she'll also so notice... proud of you. She also no will notice Rue over this conversation. And she'll notice that you you carry uh, the staff uh, that buries the marks of Verinestra. Ooh. <gasps> and that in the court from Verinestra herself, uh, she has heard... Of a uh, of a heartwood staff that was blessed by Veronesta herself uh, to honor giant tribes of old. So now you know who your patron is. Yes, I do. Oh, so wait. Oh, oh that makes sense, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> cool. Are you okay, Rue? I'm fine. Yeah. Did you yeah. did you ever know that that's where you got your power from, or is this your first uh, time realizing well, and understanding this? Okay. Um. See, here's here's the thing, and she kind of lowers her voice a little bit, so like, you know, the rest of the you know, like anyone outside the group doesn't hear. I'm, I'm going to be completely real with you guys. When I made, uh, you know, the decision to, you know, become a warlock and all, I don't, you know, she's really pretty. And it was sort of one of those things where I was like, yeah, okay, sure, whatever you'd like. <laughs> Wait, are, you made a deal with mm -hmm. an Arc Fae patron because you were yeah. horny? <laughs> Listen, um, I just want to make sure that I'm getting this entirely correct. I mean, what she was asking me to do didn't seem like, you know, anything. Well, what was she asking you to do? Uh, she kind of glances oh. over at Reverie for a second, and then she said, oh, I mean, you know, like I said, it wasn't anything bad. or It was obviously, uh, you know, but she's, you know, I, I'm not proud of myself. I, uh, yeah, I think I think we may have to work on your decision making skills, but we'll we'll focus on that another time. Yeah, scandalous. <gasps> oh, how do you really... know that word? <laughs> Where did you hear that, Merle? Wait, but Rue doesn't have horns. I do, uh, and Mimi does. No, I, I'm not gonna. Uh, okay, I clearly <laughs> have brought up. To what? Am I supposed to? No, what? no, I just, she said something, I'm confused. I think Clementine doesn't want to tell me though, so I will wait. I mean, I, I just, you know what, it makes sense though that you, you two moment. are kind of really associate. Yeah, that actually, that adds up, that does explain a lot, doesn't it? <clears throat> well. <sighs> yeah. All right, well, I'm glad that we cleared that up. We know that. 
I'm glad that we've. I glad, I'm glad that we've discovered something about our dear is she friend. Here? Like, is she here? And she kind of like starts like messing with her hair a little bit, trying to make it you know nicer because it's clearly been messed up. So, is she? I I highly doubt that she's here. We never know. I'm just friends with her now. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe she'll invite you to the potluck. <laughs> oh, wow, that'd be great. <laughs> I don't like well, it when DM rolls up with E100. I know, I right? Like it's like, huh. But what uh -huh. I want to know is what she has to do with, you know, your whole specialty of magic, which, while, you know, it's it's clearly, you know, um, fey in nature, it still has everything to do with, um, culinary skills and and cooking and homemaking and and stuff like that. So I wonder, you know, in what way she's associated with that, or why that's kind of your type of power. I, I don't know. I'm sure it doesn't matter, and I'm probably just yeah. overthinking it. But it, I mean, it's probably just because of my background, even beforehand. I would think, mm -hmm. you know, it's sort of the you know, magic brings out, you know, the best in what I already knew. Huh. I mean, you know. I didn't just start cooking, you know, when I set out. I literally grew up in a restaurant. I've been cooking my whole, nearly my whole life. Oh. So it's pretty much everything I know. So I guess it's probably just one of those things, you know, brings out the best and makes I it even better. I suppose. I mean, for me, it's when I, you know, really started to hone my magic, I, my, I feel like I changed entirely. I feel like I became a, a new person. Can't say I'm the same. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm like, going but, to uh, anyway. I'm going to ask everybody to roll me initiative. Uh, per perception, perception, perception. Initiative. Uh. initiative. No, <laughs> no, no! You're not killing another one of my family members. <laughs> perception, perception, perception. perception. All right. Well, uh, you do notice this, Brio. Uh, Merle, you do notice it too, and the others too, it doesn't matter, because they're not RPing. But, uh, hey, uh, hang on, I'm gonna move them. Uh, so you basically see, uh, this, right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> just, just standing there. <laughs> uh, what? uh, There's Merle, a Merle, Merle. There's someone in my face? Merle and the Rev, uh, you saw, uh, you saw an almost fully transparent ray shoot from Mimi's horn. Shoot, 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 uh, in what direction? Exactly where this woman suddenly appeared. Uh, okay. <clears throat> um, the, there's a bit later. Um, uh... Huh, a big lady? Uh, 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 just like... <laughs> Why are we um, surrounded by Lady Dimetrescu's? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to say her name still. She is, Clementine is just choking on like her own, like, you, you know when you choke on your own saliva because you swallow it the wrong way? It's a shit, like, she just, like, her face is just pale. Uh, what do you mean, Big Plate? If and hello. she turns around. Um, oh. Hello, Big Lady. You're pretty. As soon as as soon as uh, Rue turns around, Big Lady, uh, uh, like does a limb, just blows a raspberry at her and, and disappears. Hang on. Ah! And Rue's face just turns beet fucking red. Like, oh. <laughs> where'd, where'd she go? What? Just right. having oh. Rev, Rev, uh, Merle doesn't understand it because he <laughs> saw the raid, but he doesn't understand it because he doesn't know how magic works. But River, you you clearly understand that uh, it was uh, a a major image cast by uh, your Mimi. Mimi, that's her name. Ray, don't worry. That was just uh, that was Mimi. <laughs> yeah, and Wait. you're the only one who actually knows this because everybody else either did notice Merle? it or don't know. It. Merle? Huh, oh, well. okay. That, yeah, that. <laughs> me, apparently, Mimi just does that. I don't know what Mimi does, okay. but I'm very All happy right, to I, 
Okay, Very good is... job, Mimi. Mm-hmm. If if that's, that's what good. she looks like, I think I understand what was going through your mind. No, Thank and you. I am sorry, and I apologize I'm, I'm... because. Oh my god! I, I holy, thought you know her that, that she would have heard. <laughs> you know, you and I talking about how I made a you know really huge life changing decision on the fact that I was you know. Yeah, 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 no, no, I, I will never, I will you never. Can also, you can also see Titiana trying to do her best not to facepalm and to keep, like, a civil face. <laughs> She's just like, dear God, these bitches gay. You don't get it. I, my, listen, my love life has been next to nothing, like, my whole life. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I just, you know, I, I, met, this, I met this guy once, and I was going to tell him my feelings. I really was. Okay. And I found out he was married. He has two kids. Oh, no. Yeah. So I, I, I'm really bad with this. I just have panic. Yeah, I have fallen in love with some questionable people as well. <clears throat> Amen. <laughs> no! Um, but yeah, right. okay. Uh, looking back on this, I am I am an entire hypocrite. Um, so I will I will I apologize. I will never I will never shame you for your um, your tastes or your Thank you. desires. Thank you. Um, because holy fuck, right? <laughs> she just stops. That's just, that's it. <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> right? She's she's just like huh? Yeah, women. Yeah, yeah, women, women. Oh, yeah. my cat is leaving. And then me. she kind of Rue looks at Rev. She's like, "I'm, I'm so, Is that like offensive? I'm sorry. Oh, I don't think so. Well, I, I don't know if anyone talked about my family like that. You know, I'd be pretty embarrassed. I mean, I mean, okay. she was pretty, and I don't know if she's actually my family. She might be like. Maybe she's like an adopted yeah, aunt. Do you think, do you point, think all fairies are related, Rue? Come on. Oh, I thought I thought they said Rue hitting the microaggressions again. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, Rue! We can't bring you anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. I thought. Is, I, wait, no, aren't they? I thought they were. No, like, no, it's, no. A, it's it's an entirely different. Vernestra, Vernestra is a daughter of Titania, but. Um, Reverie okay. and uh, Titiana are in no way related to Queen Titania at all. They're all and they're Titiana gods. is not related to Titania, no matter what your dyslexia will tell you. Yes, <laughs> that she was been where my, the mix up was. I mean, also, I do recall uh, when we discussed Rue's backstory, there was different information given to me that's now changed. That's true. Yeah, yeah. and you didn't tell me. <laughs> oh. Yes, that is true. Oh well, that's yes. fair then. Yeah, understandable. Yeah, so I have to change that now <laughs> well your 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 patron's hot congratulations <laughs> thanks would you like to do anything here uh, well, this, this uh, uh basically I'm... this uh you've cleared this area uh da 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 If you ever need anything, Titiana, I know you definitely have it handled, but if you ever need anything, you know I'm here, right? <laughs> Obviously. Yes. I fear you might need my help. You have important things to take care of. I'll keep in touch, okay? Yep. She'll. And she'll do you just... have. No, go ahead. You you don't have ways of contacting the Feywild, right? She does, but it's power draining. Depends on what you want to do. I was just wondering because I did, I didn't know if uh, if you're able to talk to mom or not. Basic, but basically, I'm sure I'll find a way. Basically, she can do a very high level sending that will break through. Mm -hmm. um, but it's again 25 words, and it will be on the level. Well, of I just wanted spell. to ask you if, like, if there was a way you could just let her know that I love her and I miss her. But uh, I, I, that's, I feel like that's selfish, and that's okay. I'm sure she knows. I just, 
You don't have to do it now. You can just... She'll just hug you. If you could ever fit it in. She'll nod and hug, hug you. Sorry, I'm not... I'm not really a princess, so I don't know how to act around you. It's weird. <laughs> Two days ago, you were like a baby, and now you're a lady, and you're a princess, and you're like practically a queen, and it's like... She's also twice your age. <laughs> exactly. She's some milf. Well, no, she's not. She's, she's young. She's turned into a milf. She's young <laughs> for she's a milf now. No, she's young for an uh, for a fae. They live for like a thousand years. I knew you would do great things, though, and I'm very proud of you. Okay. Thank you, sister. Right. Sorry, I didn't get to know you very well while you grew up, but you're still my sister. Uh, and I love you. She'll smile and um, give me an inside check. Ooh. It's gonna be a twenty DC twenty. Nope. Oh. No. Nope. I'm just too emotional to think right now. All right. Do you remember Could why I you make one if I was watching them? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Just because I wasn't doing anything else, so let me see. I'm just curious. Oh, and you make it. Uh, you understand from Gitiana's look and smile that uh, when Reverie said, I, I, I'm sorry that I didn't get to know you when you were growing up, that she always idolized uh, Reverie as kind of fairy tale heroine who saved her growing up. Herself. Oh! 30th time today. <laughs> yeah. I'm even yeah. getting caught in the feels right now. Jesus. It's really oh. <laughs> I'm already pre predisposed to being emotional. Well, I promised you a good end of your chapter. It's so good. It's so sweet. You still killed the characters that I borrowed from a friend. No. <laughs> Wait, did you say there were blood sacrifices? Well, there there were sacrifices. I never said they were dead. Oh. Okay, guys. Uh -huh. I don't care what the next adventure hook is. We're finding them. <laughs> oh, no, no. They're in the Feywild. They work for the Corps. Titiana went on countless missions with them. I, I'm sorry if I forgot to mention oh. that. Titiana so never said that to me! <laughs> yes, they're... they're uh, 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 Basically, Tatiana, how could you? I was crying this whole time, thinking my friends were dead. <laughs> we hey, were we hey, thought they were dead. Hey, so there's we so, like, there's I a lot them. of lore. There's a lot of lore to keep track of. I told you or not. It's okay. I know it's just really funny that we had that conversation. Where oh yeah, we you're, like you're... part of her family died, and we're all like, oh yeah, our families died too. Yeah, it's okay. We can all understand. And, and then, and then like. As you leave, she's like, pokes back out of a tent. Oh, also, they're not dead. Can I? Yes. What? <laughs> huh? They're dead! Okay, um... <laughs> do you remember why you came to the forest in the first place? Because the heart was corrupted. How'd you know about it? It's what Sophia told us. Yes. Oh, I should send her a sending. You should report back to her. Yes, you should report back to her. I've been emotional. Excuse me if I don't remember everything I'm supposed to be doing right now. Sorry, I'm eating banana bread. <laughs> that too. Bananas. Important. Okay. Right. Would you like to go back to Morton Bay now? Yeah, baby. Alright. You, you remember that she gave you uh, two teleportation scrolls, by the way? Oh, word. But to use them, you need to draw down the teleportation circles. To to remember them, you need to draw them down. Okay. And we don't have them. Wait, no, did she well, give us a... She gave you two scrolls. When you use a scroll, you can teleport to any teleportation uh, circle that you have a picture of drawn down. Because they have instructions basically written on them. You have drawn down the one that it's in, in your castle, in a Dogmar castle. 
Right. Uh, you will also see that uh, Titania has uh, has uh, the Fae working on the new teleportation circle here. Ooh. Which you can also draw down. You also know the teleportation circle that is in Morn Bay. Although if you take that one, you will not be able to take your uh, Doom Buggy or your horses. And travel yeah, back no, is 12 gonna... days on, on horseback, yeah. We, we can't leave the Doom Buggy behind, I'm sorry guys, we can't. We are- we ha- we don't do so much to save those horses! Right? No, yeah, we're not gonna- we're not gonna turn back on them now. Our horses uh, are fine, right, uh, DM? Yes, they are, you just rode them here. Good! From a bug. Mm -hmm. Um... Who is drawing that? It has to be an arcane- No, it can be any spellcaster. I think. <laughs> Teleportation circle. Uh, it, any bard, sorcerer, or wizard can draw it down. And you will need to so roll me. So what kind of check would that be? You will need to roll me your spell casting check. So you need to roll your uh, spell attack, any spell attack roll, and you need to beat uh, a fifteen, ten plus spell level, fifteen. Uh, so, it will an eight or you... higher. Spell yep. attack is plus seven. Hang on. How? How? Oh wait, hold on. You can just uh, give me like a cantrip that has an attack as a part of it. So, does that count? Um, if it's just mockery. No, it's a save. It doesn't roll. No, that's a save. Oh, you don't have okay, attacks, cantrips. You can cast a spell okay. that has attack. Do you have spells that have attack? Uh, Callus, Hellish Rebuke. I was gonna uh, say Shatter. Shatter is a save. Oh, okay. Uh, cast Hellish Rebuke without consuming a spell slot. Let's see. No, that's also, uh... Oh, also. Okay, well, no, just, okay. just throw me Hold a on. d20. Just Let me just... A d okay, d20. Yeah, you, you, you get it. Plus get seven. It. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so I write it down. Uh, do you put it somewhere that you have two spells, uh, teleportation circle schematics? One from the Dogmer Castle bottom layer, and the other one from here. From Fey Forest. Uh, using scrolls, you'll be able to travel between them at any time. Especially especially if your bard takes up takes the spell as it's her fifth level, uh, then you'll basically, per day, you can go anywhere in these locations. So, forget how to spell the castle name. Dogmar. Dog M. Do you, dog M. -A -A dog Mars? Did, did you say Mars? I literally knew you were going to say that. I literally <laughs> fucking knew you were going to say that. <laughs> did somebody say Mars? Yes, there are dogs on the Mars, apparently. Yes! And cool. they're all big robots that are the size of SUVs, and they're my best friends in the world other than Lindsay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <I can s> <laughs> Awkward silence. Okay, and then, uh, Fay Forest. There we go. Let me just use the editing to put it in a dot in bullet points. And then to this, I'm editing, editing, editing. La 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 la. Header two. There we go, I think that's good. Group loot? Yep. Then yep. group loot. Oh, hang on, I gotta fix armor. Continue, everybody, I'm just doing... Right, yes, would you like to return to Morn Bay to speak to Sophia? Yeah. Yes, could we yeah, send, send her a message beforehand? You may, if you wish to. Do you guys think we should, or should we just show up? No, let's let's give her fair warning. Yeah, it's not nice to show up unannounced. My, yeah. Twenty five words. I need to get um, a word count. Hold on. I'll count. I'll count. No, Sorry. no, no. I'm getting a word. I'm getting a word counter. I'm uh, thinking it out first because I'm not jester. I'm I'm not a. 
a ripoff of Jester all the time. Mm. Hey, we're we're on our way back. Found a frog. Also killed the thing. <laughs> Found frog. Found frog. <laughs> Found frog. Hey, we did it. <laughs> like... Okay. Oh god, I'll have to do my Jacario's voice, won't I? Oh god. Oh no. I'm not prepared. Before I cast it, I just tell them, how does this sound? Because uh, I was like writing it down in my... I'm assuming I have like a little journal at this point. <laughs> yep. Hi, Sophia. The heart is safe and we kill a scary queen of witches. We have a new frog friend too. Thanks for your help. What do you guys think? I like it. All right. Uh, she'll, she'll respond. Ah, oh, that sounds like quite an adventure. I can't wait to hear the full report. Travel safe. Excited to hear what we have to say. I'm just oh. for upkeep. It's good that you know. Uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. Never ever. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> so long as this isn't the um. This isn't like the last time I sent a le message on the way back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm still traumatized from that. Yeah, I am. More. <laughs> All right, let's head back to Morn Bay. E. All right. Well, you we arrive at Morn Bay uh, twelve days later. Yeah. Okay. Let me fix my character sheet again. Then. <laughs> so I always like to. Keep in the habit of marking off my spell slots. What? What do we talk about on the way there? <laughs> I, I mean, obviously, I think songs. Do do. Uh -huh. Does everybody just like talk about how hot um, Rue's patron is? God, I hope I so. If we wanted to. Yeah. I mean, I, no, I, yes, like, I, I wouldn't recommend that as a topic, but I mean, if we ended up on that topic, like, I, it could, it could what can off. you do? You know, what can you do? Could, you know. Yeah, it's like, oh no, we're talking about her again. Oh no, she's come up in our conversation again? Oh man, what a shame. Oh dear. Oh, Rue's gonna, gonna talk about to... how all she wanted to do when she met her the first time was just place her face in her, you know, wonderful bosom? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get to know Mimi. Yes, let's play with the rabbit. I, I play with really my bunny. Said, I want those mommy milkers. Yeah. <laughs> she did. She did. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh hang on. I remember what I was gonna say. Okay, <laughs> is uh, does Clementine has her own journal where she uh, writes stuff? Yeah, I'd say so. I imagine if there is like a little page that is just a little bit folded, and if somebody finds it and scrolls it, it's just sketches of Elithra, sketches of Arya, sketches of the patron <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I I imagine the character art is just uh, is what uh, Clementine is drawing in her journal. <laughs> Every beautiful woman I see, I'm like, yes, that's going in the simp compilation. <laughs> yep. I met. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna start rolling for something, and people will find that. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, can we, can I uh, can I roll to see if I if I catch a glimpse? <laughs> uh yes, perception. Ugh, now yes. I need to like actually start like doing like drawings that are like good because like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so she's just, like, yeah, she's like really trying to look over Clem's shoulder. She's like, "What are you drawing? Can I see?" N n Even if I'm not paying I'll attention, my passive perception is a 17. It, it, can, can I see? I'll give you a marshmallow. I, I'll make your favorite food. What, but it, it's it's really... Can I? It's, it's just, I'll you know, give you a I, bug. I, 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 bugs are not my favorite food. What oh. the fuck? I hear no bug. <clears throat> what? Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> Why is I'm there so many? Reverie. 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 That's too yeah? many. On the second day, you actually notice that she is drawing 
uh, what seems no. to be, uh, what seems to be, uh, actually that, um, patron whose name I already forgot. Veronestra? Veronestra, yes. So you notice her drawing Veronestra on your second day. I don't know if you say oh. anything, but also on that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, you notice her drawing Elythra. Right, Clementine? Um, it's nothing. She kind of like covers it with her hand and she's like, don't, don't worry it? about it. It's nothing. Like, guys, I, I don't come to play role playing games to be, you know, to have everybody exposing me for horny art. I, like, I have enough of that in my <laughs> everyday life. <laughs> But <clears throat> sorry if also sorry. on the way. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say, um, it's it's just I I don't know. I mean, sometimes there's nothing left to write, but I still want to move my hands. And um, a lot of the people that we've met, you know, no matter if they were good or bad, they're they've, they've been interesting. Um, it's moving and I I was trying to be delicate about it. I'm not. Aesthetically pleasing, perhaps. That's what I would say. Aesthetically pleasing, maybe. Um, but yeah, that's that, that's all. Pay no attention to it. It's just, it, they're, they're just mindless doodles, and it's, it's nothing to be impressed of or, or worry about or anything. And she just closes her journal and, like, <laughs> shoves it in her bag and is just blushing, like, really, like, she... She obviously never, like, nobody ever pays attention to what she's writing or drawing or doing whatever she's doing, and now she's just, she's just, like, so embarrassed that attention got called to it at all. Fair enough, fair enough. Probably at some you point know. in my trip, I don't know how this works, but since I remembered, um... What, T what Titiana was saying about how um, Exion, and yes, I had to Google it, how to pronounce it again, um, was probably the one who sent my beautiful bunny. I send a, I, I don't know how prayer works, but I, I say like, thank you for my bunny, Exion, and then I just like shrug <laughs> and hope that goes across where it goes. Uh, is anybody looking at Reverie at this point? While she's uh, doing I'm that. sure. I'm sure he just. I, I just want him to know that I'm thankful. But is if, anybody if, looking at Reverie as she's doing that? Well, if she's praying, yeah. then I might like. Right. Be having I don't even interest. know what I'm doing. I don't know Re if I'm praying or not. I don't know if he's a god. Remember <laughs> how she has a tiny Mimi tattoo on her cheek? Mhm. Mm it mm -hmm. winks as she finishes the prayer. Oh. Uh, no. She obviously doesn't. I have doesn't a god know. now. I have a god now. I guess we gotta put that down. You don't have to. And you, you get a god. Is. And you and get a god. And you get a god. You can. I mean, hey. you, you can too, like to worship at Explain TR. that, atheists. Explain me. <laughs> oh no. I, I, honestly, I don't know what I would have been taught as a child, but I probably like have general faith towards so, most of the. Uh, for Fey, it's not the Fey they're, deities. Like, they're deities, like, you know deity level creatures but it's not that they're necessarily worshipped because unlike gods of other races they live amongst uh, like they're they're ruling physically uh, the actual <laughs> fate like you can go and interact with them you know what I mean right so it's it's so. Uh, the uh, fae worship doesn't work quite the same way. It, it's, right, I get it. it's who's your lord, basically. Who is your noble. Not. So I probably have a decent, like, a respect and a, a, a respect for all of the, uh, the fey de deities and, like, Seely Court deities and such. Probably. I assume. Probably. You, you don't have to, but you probably don't, you know, have decent disposition to them. You probably do, uh, do you have some level of respect to uh, Titania and Oberon just because all Seely Fae, uh, you know, respect and uh, acknowledge. I do whatever my mom would have 
believe. Yeah, she is direct. She is a direct uh, fake guardian. Work, you know, under the patronage of uh, Queen Titania. So you'll definitely. So I figure my faith is probably similar to my mom. Your little sister uh, is named after Titania. Titania, yeah. yeah. Writing an essay. <laughs> um. Yeah. Updating the uh, doc about my uh, about Rue. <laughs> cool. Got it. Super mega ultra. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No. It's just now things are different. I just had to get rid of a chunk. Well, only the name in the chunk. Mm. Okay. Um. Well, you arrive at uh, Morn Bay. Yeah. What are you doing? Um. I don't have anything in particular that, like, I want to really do or shop for, to be honest, this time around. But I, I, I will say, um, uh, Rue, um, at yeah. some point, if you don't mind, uh, would you mind if, uh, I just had a quick chat? with you um maybe oh. over in the church when when you get a chance yeah sure okay absolutely um, i'll um we can do that now or we can wait sure out. sure if, if you don't mind yeah yeah let's go let's do it okay. uh, so so we're oh, yeah uh yeah, we're, we're going to church there if if, if if you guys you know want to do something else before i I just wanted to have a quick talk with her. You can always talk to hey. Sophia and turn in your quest in her tower. Oh yeah, that's that's true. We we uh, we would do that first. We would do that yeah. first. Yeah, are you only I do I do then? still want to do that, like as as part of just in general stuff that we do. Um, but but we would definitely go to Sophia first. Okay, now um, she greets you, and she sits you down. She like there's some refreshments. Uh, and she just looks at uh, you, expectingly specifically at Clementine, as she's the captain of this group. Oh. For uh, um, what, what happened? What happened in your adventures? Well, maybe you should tune in to twitch.tv.com. <laughs> uh, tell me what you tell her. TV. Tell me what you tell her. You don't have to, like, actually recap. Tell me yeah, what you Yeah, no, what... no, no. Cl Cl uh, Clementine tells her um, pretty much all of the all of the important details regarding um, what, what, just basically everything that we've been recapping about, like, what the, what the adventure has been. I, I don't think there's, uh, you know, I, I think she kind of, you know, um, also lets Reverie do, like, a, a good amount of the talking um, and kind of leaves it up to her if, if there's any specific details that, like, want that, that... You should probably ask Reverie, like, if there's any specific details that she wants to, like, leave out or omit, because Clementine's kind of, like, giving the report, but also, like, you know, really, really leaning on Reverie, since she feels like it's, it's, it's kind of her story to tell. Reverie. Um, and oh. I'm... Yeah, go ahead pretty open with what's going on i try not i try to leave out like a lot of like personal information because i don't want to like bother sophia with like and my friends are dead but they're not and they're just somewhere else and it's sad i try and like hold myself together um and i like explain the heart is safe the forest is safe the guardian is safe um and the demon queen of witches is dead okay and she will you did also it ask you a lot of follow-up questions after a little while after you get to the part with the faith forest uh she will pause for a second and uh two scribes will come in and transcribe what you say afterwards starting with the as you entered the faith forest uh, they are wearing the same scarlet and silver um, robes as uh, Sophia is. Uh, they will ask you at random times, interrupt you asking follow-up questions to uh, who is this, who is that, how does that work? Um, basically, you're there. I'm pretty aware of like what things are like face secrets, so I um, leave out anything that might be like a face secret, like. Yeah. 
Yeah, they you will know? do the same. Like anything that's not mm -hmm. They will do the knowledge. same for, uh, they will do the same for the cursed bog and ask you about detailed explanations and, and what you've seen, what it is, and so on. Um, are you sharing the journals of the demon quid? Are you uh, showing her anything? Besides Merle, who you obviously are showing to her. Yeah. We lift um, him up into the air like Lion King. <laughs> Look at our I boy. I was just thinking that. Thank you. Oh my god. We have a boy now. Um, Merle, Merle, all the water touches will be your swamp one day. <laughs> Yo, that's um, sick. I think... Yeah, uh, Clementine would definitely want to um, give give the journals as you know, it, information because she thinks it's, you know, valuable as far as, you know, it, it's, it's an origin of, you know, where a really powerful demon, like, came from and what happened to her. Um, but, but before that, she does, like, she does lean over to Reverie. It's like, is, this, is it okay if I do you... I don't think there's any problem with it, right? Okay. I, I, don't... I don't think so. I just, I don't, I don't want to disrespect you. It's up to you, it's okay. I, I will just say that I don't know what level of secrets you're trying to keep, but this these are personal jour journals oh. of a person who've lived in both Sealy and Unsealy courts. All right. Um, I don't know if we would have told her at this point about the journals. Yeah, no, I'm asking you as a party, are you showing anything to her? Are you sharing anything? Because you've got a bunch of stuff. Hey want to share the journals if rever reverie is that have like information that i like because i'm the one who transcribed it for everybody else or like wrote like spoke it out for everybody yes. else and i um i would know if there's compromising information in there that my mother would have like told taught me as a kid like this is something that we keep secret nothing that like, you know is labeled a secret, but I don't know what level of, of uh, theory life you want to... Yeah, share. because isn't it just, like, isn't it just kind of, like, general, like... Well, it's her like journal that. from living in the courts, right? So there's bound mm -hmm. to be all sorts of just day-to-day -day life and organization that they can learn from it. I'm, say I'm not saying it's bad or good anyway. I'm asking you, are you turning them over or not? Yeah, I just, that's why I'm like trying to think about it. I, ju I just want to know what Reverie does because I would be giving the journals, but not if Reverie expressively told me no, I want to keep the secret. But if if not, then yeah, I'm giving the journals. I think we can talk about what happened, but maybe like try not to keep it like let everybody like scrutinize it just in case it falls into the wrong hands and someone tries to attack my family again. So you really? you you tell them what's in the journals or describe most of what's in the journals, but keep the journals. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sophia will ask you to reconsider, as those journals may prove very um, productive for her studies, her orders. Uh, yeah. He just you. Clementine does kind of give Reverie a look, like you know, like I. I know, I understand why you would be, you know, hesitant, but at the same time, like, we are fighting a war here, and we need as much intel on this sort of thing as we can get. This is very valuable information, and it could really help us. I mean, it doesn't have too much in it that's very dangerous for I, I us, think. So. I think yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that over in those in the courts, they're very. I, from what I understand, they're very powerful. I think they can hold their own. Yeah, they're very protected. I'm, in. I'm correct in assuming that only, only Clementine has grown up in Morn Bay, right? Um, I don't know if she grew up in Morn Bay. You know, she she grew up in a, a town called Silvery Moon, I believe. Mm, but it's this country, right? It's, I mean. uh, yes, this country, yes. Romeo history. Okay. History. You history knew about the heart. Screech. 
Who? Who are you asking? Who are you asking? If she knew about the heart. Who? Like, I'm, I'm just saying, like... Sophia knew about the heart. Sophia knew about the heart. Absolutely. Um, now, let's see if uh, I can roll for Pechka good or not. Look at uh, that royal education. Um, so, she will whisper to Clementine that, um, Sophia is, uh, the, the order that you're dealing with is, a, are the robe wearers. Or, or also communally referred to as the robes. Uh, they're yeah. distinct by their scarlet robes, and they're, uh, they study magics. Also, the satchel on, around, uh, Sophia's neck, that, uh, the golden runes on a silver satchel, uh, distinguish her as the high magistrate level in the order. Alright, um, yeah. I, don't I, also, I also remind you where you met her first. But it's not, uh, it is a... Yeah, but... It is a neutral organization. It's nor good nor evil. It never, n it doesn't strive for power, and it, uh... Right, I was gonna say, I don't think I have an agenda. They're, they're like, they're scholars. Yeah, they're nerds. Uh, they're just nerds. But I think... But their their information and their research could help our. I don't want to do anything that my uh, mother uh, would be yep. worried um, about. However, however, you, however you have to make your own decisions, though. Unlike other countries in Quaternia, uh, they are, uh, which is an or Orthodox for chapter, aligned with their king council for the purpose of fighting the demon invasion. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I, I, yeah, I'm aware of all of this. I I I think that. We should, because Sophia is the one who said like we should reconsider, right? Like, so we're we're having this doing. discussion right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to make sure. So, mm -hmm. I, I just, ever we can all take a vote. I'm not going to force anyone to do anything, but I will implore you to um, that I, I I think we should you know I, I think we should cooperate as much as we can you know I, I don't want to hold back information that could really help our efforts I mean let's right. let's not forget you know what what we're all here trying to do I'm just scared that something's gonna happen to the Fey Forest again and it mm -hmm. would be my fault again but I understand that but Logically thinking, it's Maybe probably they not going to happen. I mean, that's the Fae Forest. You first of all, your sister is fully in charge now. It's not as if I they're know. unprotected. I know, <laughs> but <laughs> it's scary, you know. <laughs> I know, but I I understand. But Cle Clementine's kind of getting like a little upset, and like she's normally very just neutral, but she is kind of getting upset as she talks about this. But she says them. Um, I, I just I just hope you realize that there are other families that will continue to be in danger as long as evil fiends and dark forces of darkness run around going unchecked. We have to do our part when we where we can. We we owe that to the people who are also in danger. It isn't just us. Look at Sophia and I say you promise that you will keep this information if there's anything in here. You'll keep it careful, Lee, right? Uh, she nods and uh, says, yes, of course, I will take care of it. And she nods to one of the uh, scribes and, and uh, they seem to make a note on the scroll that they're, you know, holding. Don't like sharing the personal lives of Faye. I think that they deserve their privacy, but Clementine is right. There's some... This is important. Thank you, so, I I know that this is hard, but thank you for understanding. It's hard to not keep things secret and I'd like to make sure that I'm doing what I need to to make sure but if you believe so strongly in the good that this can do I do 
then I have to believe in my sister's ability to protect in case something goes wrong. And of course, I'm there too. So you're turning over, um, to his, uh, uh, the journal, her journals? Yes. Okay, um, anything else you would like to share to tell Sophia? Um, grateful to you for letting us know what happened. Because of you, that people were able to be saved. As long as everyone's safe, it's all that matters. It was never our agenda. We it, we purely got lucky. By the way, if you want, you can do insights during this entire conversation. I was waiting for you to tell me that. I could uh, do that, I guess. No, no, just no. Just, again, remember just, that okay. I don't tell. I will stop telling. I stopped for most right. part telling you when to do what. You you have to justify it the times you right. want to do it. Okay, right. right. So I'm going to just roll an insight. Yep. And yeah, I'm, I'm not rolling an insight because Clementine trusts this. Clementine trusts them. Sophia. Um, okay. If are you? doing anything with Sophia? Anything else? Um, nope. I just give her all the information and I just say, um, thank you for putting your faith and trust in our abilities and I hope that, you know, uh, we, we met up to all of your expectations and, um, she just kind of bows politely. Okay. Break her um, and when uh, when you conclude uh, giving out the, the, all of this information, um, she will bring out a, a pouch of gold with three thousand gold pieces, as promised. And because you turned over the journals, uh, she will also give you a small coin uh, with a symbol of a scroll on top of it. Um, she will explain that this is a sign that you've done a great service to the order and you may use it in the future if you need to gain favor with them whether, wherever you go. Is it like a one-use thing or is it a... It's a token of gratitude. Take it as you will. So, so it's like a symbol of like, oh, we, we, we do, we're good. Basically, only high-level members like her can just, you know, give those away and they mean mm -hmm. that you have done a great service to one of them. Which means that the other members would know that, you know, you've already helped one of their other members. Yeah. Uh, it's called the Coin of Ogma. In for a good spot Ogma nuts. for that. Yep. What section would this go in? Oh, probably in miscellaneous at this point. Um, Coin of Ogma. Ogma. And then, how much Mulan did we get again? 3,000. 3,000? Yes. Yes. Sorry, because you both talked on top of each other. We have 10,000 gold, 10,859 gold. Yeah, baby. And then some platinum. Okay. That concludes Sophia's part. Thank you, Sophia. Um, yep, she'll uh, thank all of you. Uh, they, you'll be escorted from her tower. Um, before you leave, she'll, ta uh, she'll say you can, uh, you can always call on me if you need any assistance. Thank you. I really appreciate that. It's nice to have an ally. I nod. Okay, where are you going now? It's midday. Um, you need to buy anything, Clementine? No, I I don't really need anything. Um, you guys, you guys go on ahead. Um, and yeah, I think uh, 
we were gonna head off to church. Okay. Church. Before, uh, we'll do that in a second. You have a um, permanent free, t you know, invitation for free rooms at the Adventures Commission. Ooh, All I forgot you. about Perfect. that. Perfect. Yep, and you may, uh, I, uh, the other peoples, are you going to get a free room, or are you going directly to the store? Uh, the free room will also co uh, come with, you know, free shelter for your horses and your, um, doom buggy. Hell yeah. Probably get that sorted out first, right? Oh, also, Merle, as you, as you walk through the streets... Uh, you're getting glances uh, all the time. Like, what? What is that creature? What is that? Uh, is that a pet? No, it's wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be a pet. It's wearing pants. It's, you, you can overhear like. If a, uh, a pants, would he wear him like this or like this? <laughs> yes. All right, but before we do that, let's do uh, Clementine's and Rue's visit to the Temple of Helm. Nice. Oh, is it, is it okay to just add on? Can I just add on Hello? to that real quick? Oh, go ahead. Uh, Hello? Hey, Gabby. Uh, oh, hey. Hello. Oh. Hello. 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 Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> I haven't seen you for an entire chapter in this game. I only I show know. up when the players have reason to be worried. Yes. Uh, no. like, like the next chapter <laughs> for which we, we actually do need, we do need to schedule something to work stuff out with you but it's okay <clears throat> all right let's let's do t uh merle what your your little plug you oh, I, 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 I was just okay so like you know merle's getting glances and that's fine but you know i just want to be a little bit more descriptive here like merle seems very like odd you know, he he's he almost like fish out of water. He's never been in a city this big. He you could just like tell he's kind of just like, whoa, well, like what, like what? You know, he doesn't he's, know he's what. Like he's like Kevin McAllister doing. lost in New York right now. <laughs> yeah, essentially, I mean, he 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 does he does he does know cities exist, and he you know it's not like, but it's so foreign to him. He, so he's 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 so busy. People are busy looking at him, but he's busy looking at people. Like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's all I wanted to add on. Okay, uh, as you all proceed to um, get a free room and you know put your horses in the stables, uh, let's uh, go to Temple of Helm with uh, Clementine and Rue. Um. So yeah, Clementine is kind of just um, walking with Rue, showing her the temple and stuff, and, and um, she kind of just sits them both down together, and she just says, um, sorry for um, pulling you away like this. Um, I kind of mm -hmm. wanted to have a little chat like this with a few of the other members of the group, and I, I hope uh, you don't take I'm any offense to me crying. I'm sorry if I, about trying to look in your journal i uh, if that's what this is about i'm really sorry i no I, no i know no, you're no, 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 kind no. of a it, private person and i just i, I overstepped no don't I'm don't sorry. no don't no don't don't be silly it's it's mm. not anything as inconsequential as that um i guess what i really just wanted to ask is um why why are you here, Rue, with us? And I, I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I, I wanted to ask the same thing of, you know, Petchka and 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 Alistine. You know, um, I, I, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of why Merle is traveling with us. You know, I, Reverie's been with me for a long time, but you three just showed up. You could be doing other things and it's just our travels there you know by now that they're dangerous i mean we've had brushes with death time and time again and we've only just begun so i guess i just want to know why why are you Whatever. throwing your life away and following me uh, um 
Are you asking me why I'm traveling in general or why, or why I'm traveling with y'all? With, with us, I suppose. Oh, well, that, that's an easy one. I Don't tell referee. Um, it's what my patron wanted. Really? She asked me to protect her or to try and keep her safe. That's why I thought they might have been related when I realized that I don't know. I thought they might have been family or something. So if they're not, I'm, you know, oh, I'm kind of wondering that. why is exactly that she singled Reverie out and well, sent a warlock out to protect her. But I guess, you know, just protecting one of their own makes sense. It's just, I always think in terms of family, I guess. That does make a yeah. lot of sense. Yeah. Um, and yeah, um, fae, fae relationships are complicated, but... <laughs> That, that yeah. does make sense. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you know, back home, I pretty much really only ever saw my family. I work with my family. It's just them. I don't have, I didn't have any friends back home except for my brother. You know, it's just eat, sleep, breathe, work with your family. So I, I always think in terms like that. So. I see. I wasn't trying to be, you know, racist. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I get in. I, I know how much that sucks to be on the receiving end. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Um, I'm adopted. Oh. And but, uh, a good chunk of my family actually didn't think it was such a good idea for my mom to have taken me in. I see. Um, yeah, I, I don't mean to unload on you. Um, it's... It's, uh, it's rough. Yeah, I... Part of why I ran away. I can imagine. I, you know, I grew up in a gnome family, and, you know, mm -hmm. I, I'm not a stranger to, you know, weird stares or, you know, patronizing glances, but, you know, I, at least, you know, I had a place where I felt like I fit in. I mean, overall, everyone in my town where I grew up was really very kind and very yeah. nice to me. And I yeah, um, always wish I could go back. I understand that. My, yeah, my mom's and uh, the three of my aunts and my, my brother, they're great. Um, my brother, my little brother's girlfriend, she's, she's real sweet. And my aunt's fiance, he's nice. But the rest of them, it's just, they're, they're a lot bigger than me. You know, they're a, uh, the giants, actually. Oh, yeah. So you can I, you can see why they might not have. Oh, yeah. Me I, around. I was kind of assuming like, oh yeah, another race adopted me. You know, humans, elves. You know, it's a little weird to be a halfling, and I'd be like, oh yeah, I understand that. But no. Oh wow, that is they're, that is they're tiring. big. They're big. I don't know. My, if my I baby brother's been bigger than me since the day he was born. Oh. Wow, I yeah. I don't even I don't even know if I've ever seen a giant before. I can't imagine. I, <laughs> yeah, man. she just like raises her arm as high up as she can go over her head. She's like, huge. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I still would love to meet your family one day because the, by the way you talk about them, you know, they, oh, they yeah. sound really lovely. If I can, yeah. I mean, if I can go back home, you know. You know, keep my head held high, up high, going home. I'd love for you. All, I'd love for you guys to meet them. It's just right now, I don't think I can. That's understandable. You know, yeah, running off and all, um, with the spoon. <laughs> Probably shouldn't. Have. Well, thanks for um, humoring me and yeah, um, talking with me. I, I really appreciate thanks. it. You. And thank you for for listening about all my for all my rambling. I don't really get no, to talk it's... about my family that much. It just seems really weird to say it out loud. You know, it's, I grew up funny. that way, but you know, I... having adopted by giants seems a little far fetched. Well, family's family in the end. Um, I'm I'm glad that you I'm glad that you have some to cherish and hold on to. The microphone cut out for a sec. 
<laughs> oh, did you did you not hear my last line? Hear it either. So. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry. So yeah, she just said, "Um, I'm I'm glad that you." I'm glad that you. Yeah, she said, "I'm I'm glad that you still have family to cherish and hold on to." Yeah, there it is. Sorry. Yeah, no, my sister tried to call me, and then the AirPods, my air, my earphones just stopped working. It just was all squeaky. Um. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for talking to me. Of course. Sorry. I guess it's um, just. Um, I'm really I, glad that after. I folks to be traveling with. Yeah. It was rough going it alone. It's nice to have, you know, people to rely on. I I guess it's just after my group um kind of broke apart last mm -hmm. time. Um I, I guess I just I, I won't lie when I say and, and say that I haven't had doubts about all this myself. You know, I'm not, I'm not good at fighting and doing all of this. I'm, I'm, I only pretend that I am. Um, so I guess I just want, I guess I just want everyone who's with me who I'm, you know, I'm not so sure of to, to, I guess I'm just worried that they don't actually know what they're getting into and, and I don't I don't want any of them getting hurt under my watch and I guess that's just something that I'm terrified of constantly um and I'm I'm not I I I have gotten knocked down and knocked out so many times because I couldn't just be strong enough to survive it I my, it's just it's like Every time I push myself, my body fails me, and I don't know how much longer I'll be able to keep this up, or how much longer I'll even be around. Uh, gently takes her hand, you know, because she doesn't think that Clem necessarily wants a hug. It's like, hey, you're doing really great. I mean, we're here for you. And I'm sure I can speak for Petchka and for... For Allie, we want to be here. We want to help. Whatever whatever it is this group's doing, we're here. Right. And we believe in you. We believe in each other. Thank you. You don't have to worry. Clementine just... <clears throat> Clementine just hugs her. Oh, we got you. No worries. It's a really Thank pretty you. temple, by the way. God's got a nice, God's got nice digs. <laughs> Thank you. One day, one day we should find a temple of Marshmallow, huh? <laughs> sure awesome. thing. Yeah. I've never actually been to one. Well, maybe one day we'll we'll find one. All right. And um, yeah. Clementine just kind of pats her on the shoulder and then <laughs> um, stands up. And seems a little happier as they walk out. Let's go see what they bought, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, shoppers, would you like to go sell stuff first before going to Machikario? Oh, God, do we have to sell our evil shit? <laughs> We got much evil. Shit. We just got the, the abyss stuff. We have the vials. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about selling to the evil. I'm not guy. selling the wings either. I'm yeah. not selling the wings. I am. No, that's, that's fine. Wings. We're we're gonna we're gonna sell the the void juice. Um. I also have a uh, I also have a thing of pure magic. Um. You have a water skin of pure magic. That is true. Do yes. you think we should uh, figure out what the abyss does first? Well, maybe maybe your <coughs> contact can give us some insight on that. Would you like all to reconvene? So after you all go to the temple, 
I think it would be you would go to the inn and they would still be like prepping their rooms in the horse. Yeah, room. that's that's what I that's what I imagine. You you can all go uh, to your contact in the uh, undercity. <clears throat> would you like to Maybe. do so? This will be this will be Clementine's first time meeting this contact. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Hey, wasn't hey. around last time. All right, would you like to go to him? Let's go. Let's do it. All right. So you take the same shady alleys you did last time. Um, Clementine's kind of walking in front, like 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 everybody is her children, and she will slap like any of these <laughs> like hoodlums if if they lay a finger on yes. them. The percentage of hoodlums in the crown grows as you you know proceed. <laughs> And then you find one of those secret entrances down to the Undercity. Uh, you go to the Undercity, and you go to the same square, and you see that the place where Ferris's shop used to be is abandoned. Uh, you ask around, and once you uh, tell him his name, they give you a location which is surprisingly in uh, the Overcity, not in the Undercity. Uh-oh. Uh when you arrive there, uh, what you wait. see before you is a shop wait, wait. that sells pastries, exotic what? fruits and vegetables, and con uh, and candies. And what? It's called huh? Fairies' Fancies. <laughs> oh my god. You see fairies as creepy and jovial as always, uh, standing oh in the corner god. of the shop as some, um, some people who are clearly ex-hoodlums <laughs> hired by him. Um, are attending uh, to the shop. What? It's really nice. This is what? not what I expected. Oh, me no! Like that that shady uh, that shady spot, you know, down in the alley. That used to be where he was, you know, located. That's, but that's where he was. When I, when I saw it shut down, I thought oh, maybe Ferris is taking a day off. <laughs> 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 Really nice. <laughs> 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 I, 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 last time. I thought that <laughs> I, so I, I thought that you know maybe uh, you know I, I, I'm not gonna lie. You you guys brought me down to that weird shady place, and he wasn't there. And I was like, oh, he's totally dead. He's 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 totally <laughs> shaped somewhere. He's totally. And I was I was heartbroken because I was gonna have to have you know the. The, the talk with you guys and you're okay, like, oh, well, halfway, you know, through, halfway through laughing about that I started laughing about it I need, to, I, I need you guys to also be aware of this oh. <laughs> why are you sending us a twitter thing from Tommy Wiseau <laughs> because Mar why would you not send something oh, from Tommy Mars. Wiseau what are you talking <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh hi Mars <laughs> that's great so I saw that halfway through laughing about the Ferris day off. Jesus Christ. It's Ferris day right, off. Well, he runs a bakery now, so yes. okay. I can, you know what? I can respect that. I really what, can. What you can see people are paying 15 gold, gold pieces per bag, <laughs> per bag, small bag of what looks like marshmallows, but it looks like basically has been working it backwards on how to create his own from the ones you uh, bribed him with last time. Oh my god. Uh, these can are all walk up to the cases they? and like really invest and like take a look at these fuckers to see if you know like if they're really quality. <laughs> they're not. You can see with your chef exper expertise that it's uh, it it is very crudely worked out back. He hasn't worked out most of the process, but it's such a curiosity, oh and it's in so, such high demand, people are buying even this. He <laughs> looks to the group and says, Fuckers ripping these people off. This is shit. Well, maybe you should teach him a thing or two about how to make a good marshmallow, I guess. I don't know. Honestly, oh, and she, I she think looks all up, of like, this is drugs. You... You don't get through your sentence. All you, all she hears is you should teach him, and she lifts up her spoon like she's ready to fucking whack him one. <laughs> oh I'll, no, the Gordon Ramsay oh, I'll has teach awoken. Him. I'll teach him. All right. all right. Please feel free to walk into the shop. Yeah, we're 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 walking in. Um. Uh, Ferris, you immediately fuckers. you immediately recognize <clears throat> three of them. Oh, look at these people. You've come back to my little shop. Oh, I'm so happy to meet you again. Uh, uh, 
Tell me, are you here to buy or to sell? This shit. Sell. Sell. Uh, is this is this small child part of your little group here? I am an adult woman. She. she you barely stand up over top of the counter here. She. She's just me. I. <laughs> Clementine stands on her on her tiptoes a little bit, but but still is just can glaring. Can I whack him? Can I whack him, Clem? Can I whack him? Can I whack him? Can I do it? You may whack him once. Yes. <laughs> Very nice of you. You can't just never... assume shit about people because we're short. The fuck's wrong yeah. with you? And what the fuck's with these shitty pastries? Seriously, it's really uncalled for. No, 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 no. You're, you're here for business, and not this business. Why don't we take our business into the back room, and we can have a nice little chat about that, shall we? Oh. As they're going, yeah. Mm. As uh, okay. Ferris says that, as Ferris says that, back? he gestures to some of his workers, and they kind of open the back, and somebody else assumes his uh, stand, like, at the counter, and uh, he expect he expectantly gestures you to follow him into the back room. Do we Clementine go? Clementine just kind of steals herself and just inhales, just and. <laughs> Braces herself uh, as she walks into the back. Uh, Starts uh, in. What you see? Ruth trails what? behind a little bit, and as she's walking, she looks back at all the patrons in there, and she goes, "I wouldn't pay a single bit for any of this shit. You're getting ripped off." Mm -hmm. Never mind her. She's just a, a, a. We're working things out. She's a supplier. A world come on, class come, 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 come. We shall discuss your fee. Just a moment, please. Just come right with me. As, oh, yes, oh what God, you this. see, what you see inside the room is basically a storage of all sorts of weird items. Uh, some remind you uh, of Magicario shop, and some of artifacts uh, that uh, Sophia had in her office. This uh, room, although it, um, although serving a purpose of like a back room. Most of the storage is actually of these artifacts and not baking supplies. A small space is cleared out for a crude table made out of a, a plank on top of barrels and some boxes uh, used as chairs. This is a really nice setup you have. It, it serves its little purpose. It, it, it works well enough. Now, um, if you could close the door behind you, because I have a feeling that you're not here on marshmallow business. Well, you'd have that right, and um, she, she just closes the door behind her. Very good, very good. Now, he takes a sit down, he takes a, he takes a seat, gestures at the planks and the other places around the table, and says, now if you'd be so kind to take a seat so we can get down to business. Clementine um, takes mm -hmm. a seat, yeah. Her, just her I arms are crossed and she's just glaring at him. Uh, so next Merle, to Merle, as well. Merle proceeds to walk up the wall and hang from the ceiling. <laughs> what? <laughs> that Good for him. <laughs> Merle has spider climb. <laughs> Me and the lad's yeah, absolutely was... sauced right now. Oh, sauced, you my. say? Haven't seen someone do that since, well, since poor Janet met her time, untimely end way back <gasps> the last time we saw you all, folks. But that's neither here nor there. I am your exclusive buyer for rare antiquities mm. and such and things like that there. Why don't, why don't we have a nice little chat about what you've bought me this time? <clears throat> Sure. The um, shot, 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 shot section in the group loot, though. This is sad. Yeah, this is a sad moment. Uh, yeah, so Clementine pulls out the, uh, that, like, just vial of, like, ab abyssal essence, and she's just like, um, this came from the darkest parts of the fairy forest. Pure magic, pure energy. Um, even I'm not quite sure entirely what it does, but it looks dangerous, and I do not want to be carrying it, so if you could take it off our hands, that would be really lovely. Oh, I'd be more than happy to take it off your hands. Just hand it right over. Well, no. 
first mm-hmm. tell me what we're going to get for it. Maybe oh, we well, let's negotiate like you a were bit. in such a hurry to be rid of it. I thought I was doing Oh, I favor. can wait a little bit longer. Hmm. We went through a lot to get this. So it's something you tried to get, but now you're trying to get rid of. We didn't mm-hmm. try. We just went through a lot, and then this ended up being a result of it. Yeah. Oh, so it's rather, rather just like random trash you picked up along the way, and you're trying to sell it to me no, now. No, that's not... Now, n- you know a lot about <clears throat> things when you... <clears throat> Sir, I can assure you that this is some very powerful dark magic that you could probably find some twisted, oh, perverted my. use for. So. Again, just trying to get me in trouble with the authorities, selling me unlawful evil things. I can't believe you. I I th- I mean, is this not what you want? You you, I, I listen. This is my first time meeting you. Maybe I got the wrong picture, but I I my just, my associates just, tell me they have a, a contact. Let, uh, uh, let the me black take a market. look at what you've got. Let mm? me take a look at it. Let me take a look at it. Perhaps it's not entirely worth this. <clears throat> All right, fine. But if you if you try anything funny, I'm gonna smack you or something. I'll, I'll do something and to Clementine just kind of like tosses Fine, the vial to him. Alright, so uh, Ferris uh, takes out his uh, artificer's monocle, looks at the bottle, uh, examines it a little bit, uh, then he stands up, um, he digs out a book, checks it, uh, checks an entry in it, goes to a crate, finds this tome with an elixir bottle, um, and after checking it, I'm gonna whisper you the price that you want to pay them. Cool. Boom. Oh my. Now, now which of these, these is that? They have a couple oh, of different we gave sizes. Him a also, lesser. the first one—the the first one I did—they they gave you the first one. Did did that number not send? Mm, Twenty-five. Maybe for, not. Th- this this number. Ah. Oh, they go oh, in powers. Oh. Yeah. Oh oh oh! That first one did not particularly come through. Very well, very well, very well. well you know this—you're talking about how great and powerful and beautiful this is. Mm, but you know, it's really... It, again, this is... I, I do have to make a profit when I sell these. Um... What say you to... 15 gold? Favor and tell me what exactly these are if you're going to be buying them from us. I... Uh, hang on, I remind you that I will not be reminding you anymore when you can make checks. You will have to take the initiative and justify what you're doing. And uh, okay. if you decide to tell them, I can tell you what it is. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to do insight to see if he's like uh, un- under, you know, underpricing it, you know, um, if, if it should be worth something a little more. I, I just want to see if he's like actively trying to cheat us out of a deal because I don't trust him as far as I can throw him. Which is not very far. Exactly. <laughs> well, I'll also fuck. roll an insight just because I'm wondering what he's gonna think. Mm. We suck at this so much. He seems to be interested in how unique of an item it is, but that's you can't really tell if he's short selling you, if he's bullshitting you, if he's doing anything of mm. that sort. Please tell me what these are, because for all we know, we might need to keep them. Yeah. Keep it for ourselves. Oh, if you yeah, I'm not sure so if 15 sure. really gold on. is really worth it, you know? Oh, I'm sure. And we'd like to a... at least know what we're doing. But I'm certain that something like this would have been of no great use to you, particularly in such a city as this, with such a robust and... um very attentive and attuned police force around. 
Mm. Yeah, well, what exactly, you could just, just remind us, well, what exactly, just, you know, does it do? We would love to hear your artificer uh, play it on us. opinion. So who said anything about an artificer? I mean, you seem to deal with um, uh, items quite well. Simple merchant, a simple uh -huh. merchant. I take yeah. things that some yeah. people want and I give them to other people who want them more than the first people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this particular case, the demand for something like this is not particularly high. It's a very niche clientele. It could take me a look long book. time. Hmm? What's that? May I please look at your book and see what it says <laughs> about these? Oh, tell, tell me, do, do, what, what, uh, hmm. Can you read in Thieves' Cant? Can you? <laughs> no. No, then I can't. No. Then I'm, so, I'm well, you know. certain. Yeah, you may look at my book all you like. <laughs> all right, listen. No, um, no. I, I wish... I'm not, listen, I, I'm not going to Who knows try. that? Who knows? I, plan, understand yeah. languages or whatever. Comprehend languages. Uh, I, listen, it. all right. I, 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 don't, I don't really think that this is all, you know, worth this much, you know, Effort. You know what? Here's the, uh, if I may. Hmm. If I may. Yeah. Listen, you're you're just trying to run a business here, aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. It's my yeah, purpose. I understand that, and you know, you're. We're both trying to make a deal, and I mean, if you're so sure that this is the price you wanna, you know, you wanna pay, that's fine. And the people out there, they're. They're so far pretty sure that's the price that they want to pay for the swill that you're trying to sell them. Now, I mean, I personally have some culinary experience, one might say. You know, I am I worked in a world-class kitchen. If I were to just mm, give out free samples to everyone who walks out of this door of what I can do in comparison to what you can do, they might not be too see Dude, yeah. they might not be too keen to come back. You'd probably lose when they a realize lot how of shitty customers. your stuff is. Yeah. They'll, they'll just be finding her in the street and they'll just be like, "Oh, hey, you know, cook us something up because you could make something in literally a minute that's like way better than what this guy can do with a whole business cuz I, I mean, works, she's the it? chef and um she I mean, says, hey, Rue, so even Rue, I'm I gonna... could even write yeah. I'm gonna need a persuasion with advantage. Yeah, baby. Yeah, persuasion. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Darn it. Um, <laughs> she can definitely I mean, ruin your marshmallow business. I'm just saying, I could even ride home to my family and see if they're looking to make a second location but, but, of but our let's restaurant. Not, let's, not, right let's, here not, let's not be hasty. Perhaps, um, perhaps we could come to a bit of an arrangement. I could perhaps find a take a little bit less of a profit on the front end would here if perhaps you would be willing to share a few of your uh, secrets mm. to improve my wares mm. i am after all trying my very hardest to just make an uh, honest living yes you're exactly. you're a very admirable uh, small business owner. Yeah. Yes, yes 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 of course all right um what do you what do you think rue i i think you know i think an arrangement can be made here yeah, something of the sort. I mean, I'm not about to give you any sort of family secrets or anything, but I can maybe give you a tip or two. Oh, yeah. Just a few light Bless instructions it. to improve our end product would be immeasurably helpful, I'm sure. Perhaps if you were to provide just a few hours of instruction to our esteemed yeah. chefs, you might uh, mm -hmm. coax about, oh, <laughs> say, you know, five gold out of me for this little one. All right. You don't know I what they, they do. And you Dude, haven't it's, even it's, offered uh, to tell us what they do. Stop laughing at me. Get out. Well, uh, of course, not of you course, guys. Of course, of course. This, this <laughs> in not particular. Not you guys. Andrew this... laughing at me. Get out. Are, are you going to tell them the truth? Well, you can whisper. This... I'm trying to talk to them. <laughs> Voice in the sky, no. be quiet! Shut up, God! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, God! Shut up, God! Um, Listen, God, this don't, this don't involve this, you. You see, this, this particular item does not necessarily have one use. It has a couple of different ones, depending on who I sell it to. So, depending right. on who that person ends up being, it tends to have a quite varied and different uh, value than what I can really 
I have to mm-hmm. assume that I'm going to sell it to the least valuable person. Mm. Mm-hmm. Really? So, so you're telling me it does a thing. You've never it's, told me well, what it is that the thing is. Well, 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 that's, not really, that's not really my job. That's not really my job at all. My job I, is not to figure out what it just, does. I'm I'm very, 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 Reverie, I, th- I think it's literally just, like, essence of magic. I don't think it does anything. It's just energy that you can use to do something else. I don't yeah, think it does anything. you an enlightened person among us. Oh, yeah, that's that's actually really nice. Thank you. Thank you. And she just yeah, kind of, she kind of adjusts her that. glasses and, like, you know. Yeah, oh. Clem's real smart. You see, going to grade school does help the youngsters. I swear to God. <laughs> You you didn't you, you didn't have to be backhanded like what? that. You were really being nice to me, and then you know you you just you just smacked me across the bat. Like seriously, God. I, okay. Are you're we done not here? Not being Everyone? racist, but you're discriminating against those <clears throat> of us who might not have had a formal education. It's bullshit. <clears throat> Mer- Merle Merle has some business with this man, but he's just politely <laughs> waiting. What? <laughs> has he been on the ceiling this whole time? He, oh he hell has. yeah! He, he is. He has his arms crossed, and he's very disappointed with he, his backhanded comment earlier about ooh. people not being able to look over the counter. Oh. <laughs> so he, <laughs> he's he's very game, stern. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, I. I, I, I think, you know, f- five extra gold for it, that, that's fine. So can yeah. we agree that 20 gold for this this vial of whatever the fuck it is? I, I don't know. Oh, yes, that works out perfectly, perfectly, perfectly for me. Promise we mm-hmm. wouldn't use them for any other reason, right? What? I, you I, really don't think we would use it? I know. I mean, I, it's, it's just, it's just. How many, how many, how many vials do you have, though? Like. We have. Is it just the one vial? Thirty-eight small ones, five okay. medium ones, and one large one. Well, you can always keep one if you're. Yeah, if, if you really want. want. I mean, I don't. I don't yeah, know. Just to be safe. It. It's, yeah, if we. I don't like... need magic. I guess, but I think it's fucked up <laughs> magic. I don't know. I'm not keen on using it to be honest. I mean, I... okay. In in fairness, in fairness, I didn't realize that you had different types of these. Would. You... I could offer more for the greater and perhaps even more for the superior. Okay. All right. But, but that's just because it's a, it's a much larger larger pool, of course. So, say a factor of ten to all of them. Hmm? Mm-hmm. So, you're, you're the ones, the greaters, I could perhaps offer 200, and the, the superiors, perhaps uh, 2,000. Uh, oh, could I be able to recoup that uh, maybe if I found the right buyer. Okay, I, I I think that's fair. I think that's actually fair. Um, <clears throat> Clementine. Okay, so now um I I hmm okay D- DM just sidebar real quick. Um I yes. I remember you telling me that when we initially got these vials, I felt like a chill when like we put them <clears throat> in my bag or something like that. Um. Yes. W- was that was that because of the vials? Okay. Oh can wait, I hang on, like... hang on, hang on. Uh, no, go ahead, go ahead. There I maybe. was just gonna ask. Can I do an ar- a ve- just a very quick Arcana check to see if I I know if it like if it's magic that's gonna like backfire on us if we try to use it on anything? I'm very distrustful of using these go ourselves. Ahead. Okay, cool. Um, and and I'm gonna consult Reverie. Um, on Advantage. this. Cool, thank you. Anna. Uh, yeah, I, so, I, you should have had me check, too. Because I have a... Well, I, 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 oh, yeah, I assist, you. so you've got advantage. Mm-hmm. Um, so 15. 15. Arcana. Okay. So it's not pure, pure magic, right? It's shadow okay. essence. Sh- shadow essence. Sh- okay. shadow, it's an essence of shadow fey magic, uh, okay. which means that contacting it would be drawing upon the shadow um, fey magics. And yeah, you can surmise that no. con- touching yourself, exposing yourself to it, would definitely bring some side effects of Shadow Fey uh, Manor. You, you can surmise that this item is exclusively useful in alchemy. Yeah, no, guys, I, I really don't think we're going to use this. Even if it's, you know, right. even if it could give us powerful magic, it's it's pretty, it, it, it's Shadow Essence. I, I, I don't think we want to be messing was. with it. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, no worries. It's it's Shadow Fey essence essentially. Oh. Um, but I think I, I don't, don't think want we need to hold on to it. 
I like I start like getting rid of. Them. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're 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 getting rid of all of them. I'm scared of them. Goodbye. Yeah. Shot. 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 Section. We're gonna get. We're gonna get money. Money. Okay. All right. So, so we, um. Hang on. I'm doing math. Yeah, we're math, getting math, we're getting twenty for the small ones, two hundred for the greater, and two thousand for the superior. I believe. Thirty-eight. Oh yes, that is very yes, correct. Times money. So I, I had more than seven, a great school education. Gold. I'm smart. All right, who or, is sorry, taking seven, them out? Gold. Who is taking them out out of um, out of the bag of holding? Um, I I I will. Clementine, as soon as you reach in for the large bottle and take it out, a little you'll feel a hand grab your wrist from inside <laughs> of bag of holding, and uh, you'll you like a, a chill will run down from your spine as if a long forgotten, <laughs> most hated, naked tiny leprechaun no! has somehow <laughs> made his way to live in your bag of holding uh. now. Get rid of it! And he's go just gonna away. he's just gonna go like no! Stop and let you go. Me. Ugh. <clears throat> Alright, so Sorry about that. Um here's here's <laughs> Dear God. How do we get rid of that? How do we un guys this bag is cursed? How do we uncurse this bag? I hate it so much. Get I hate it, it a lot. Bag. Get a new bag. Yeah, yeah, you know what? <laughs> oh, uh, and his Bye name is, bag. uh, he, he has a name, by the way. I, I don't care Gross. what his name is. I don't care uh, what his name is. His name is, uh, he just screams his name, just yells his name. I, I, is he a Pokemon? I, is he Davenport? Sir, I, Davenport. <laughs> no, worse. It's Bobby B. Bopping. Bobby B. Bopping. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Bobby B. Bopping. Bobby B. Bopping. I, I oh my it. god. Awful. Terrible. But um at, at least we're getting rid of the cursed vials. That's one that's one True evil that. thing that do we you, could do be you rid say, of. Do you say anything when you see him, like when he grabs you? I, I it's it's just that like up, it, it's just the initial like squeak of surprise, the appalled sound, and, and then just as, immediately closing the bag. As he as uh, you like uh, Yank your hand out and gasp. Uh, he will throw the blue pillow out of the bag at you. What the fuck? <laughs> Rude. Uh, and I believe he will miss you. Uh, Ferris, Ferris, you see them taking out all of these potions, and then suddenly, uh, Clementine's hand gets stuck in the bag of holding. There's just this uh, turkey like gobble screech. And um, <laughs> you hear a name Bobby B. Bopping being yelled at the top of the tiny lungs of this <laughs> leprechaun, and a pillow flies out, flies past Clementine's head, and like knocks over a stand of like daggers that you have behind you. Oh my! Uh, tell me, is that for sale too? Um, what you want him? You 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 want him? Please oh, take the him. The pillow? Is that not what your cursed bag? Certainly not. Ah, oh, damn it! I I no, I don't. The pillow's not for sale. Oh, tragic. Do you remember where that pillow is from? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to tell them? It. <laughs> no. Well, I my memory's hazy. I, I just remember it was like from the very first session. It was from a uh, session zero, basically, like yeah, the very beginning. Did, 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 uh, one of, one of they were attacked. They were staying in the castle of the mayor she, of the she, town. She, she took the she took the pillow because she was and, like, "This pillow's blue, and I like it." <laughs> and uh, and they stole a pillow from their as the fir very first thing they ever did yeah. in D and D. Well, the first thing they did in D and D drew ooze all over the map. The first yes. their thing their characters did is they stole from the employer. Yeah, and I oh those those the group loot those rascals. Yep. Just just fond memories. Put the pillow back and I'm like, are you, are you sure you don't have a bag? Are you really sure? Are you really Dude, sure? I'm, I'm quite sure. I I could, if you'd like, I could try and find some sort of buyer for it. 
but that would take several days to uh to that's that's fine that's t- take as much time you need i, I will wait i will wait that variety mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. weird bags that say strange names and throw things it's not it, a lot of call for that well i mean i it's gonna uh, there's got to be a market for it somewhere i mean if, if you hear anything if you hear anything, please let you me know. You never know what folks are into. Please let me know. Please. Uh, I, I am literally yeah, begging. Are, yeah, I mean, bags that throw things at you. Some folks are yeah, into that. I, I, I will. I am lit. I, I am literally begging. I will. I uh, just please. Hey. <laughs> and uh, what do you suppose? Don't you have someone's young? What do you suppose my finder's fee would be for such a person? Hmm? Well, I don't do work for free, dear. You have to tell me what, what are what are my finders fee for locating someone to relieve you of your inconvenience? Uh, I I don't know how much do you want. I I no. We can just I... leave it in the alley somewhere. No, uh, hmm? I guess I could burn it. Ooh, yeah, burn it. That's gonna okay. Go really well, I'll I'll burn it. And yeah, I know. <laughs> Screw you, dude. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay you. I'll I'll just burn it and buy a new bag. You know, you, you you could you could you could do one nice thing for me. You know, you you called me a child when you first met me. You you you've been really rude to me this entire time. You you could do one nice thing, maybe. Uh, at this, he will reach into his uh, his jacket and he'll pull out a lollipop and hand it to you. <laughs> I will accept this. The lollipop. <laughs> feel patronized. However, well, wait, what flavor is it? Uh. <laughs> Cherry, dear. Okay, I really, I really Basic. like cherry. Okay. <laughs> she, she'll, 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 I, I, I mean, I won't say no. I mean, I feel patronized right now, but I won't say no. I've been patronized. Ch- cherry's ha! good. <laughs> um, all right, well, I, I guess that should wrap up um, our business here, unless anybody else has anything that they want from this freak. Yeah. Otherwise, let's go. Uh, uh oh yeah, yeah. doesn't Merle have business? Yeah, Merle. Merle business, he, he? He, he 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 does. But if anybody else wants to go first, that's fine. No, I'm dead. Okay, well, with that, he he jumps down in front of uh, Ferris from the ceiling. <laughs> um, ar- yeah. arms crossed. Uh, um, blah. and he produces the um the water skin of pure magic, and he, uh, he 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 looks at it. Basically, Merle doesn't really know what it is, so I, I would like to uh, DM. I would like to roll something to try to figure out if I know what I have. It would really be Arcana. Um, alternatively, okay. you could ask one of your friends during your twelve days of travel, which would give them plenty of mm-hmm. downtime to study it. Um, I mean, we can wreck on that. Yeah, sure. Why not? Are you? I just want to know if up? Merle. I just what, what, what? Clem, are you eating your lollipop? Yes. Roll me a d20. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I say yes? It was a joke, <laughs> and now I'm gonna. Oh no! Okay. Okay. Oh, good roll. Good that's roll. that's a bad one. That's one of the no! bad ones. <laughs> it's eight. No. no. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, uh, give me a d4. What? A d4. Why am I a D4. Alright, in two hours you will experience this. What? Oh! Two. No! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that is um, the worst one on this entire. This is the worst one on the entire table. Don't worry. Alright, I'm gonna kill you! This is happening. You don't know. It's gonna happen in two hours only. You, you have no I'm idea. Gonna I'm still gonna kill him! Uh, All right, Merle. Uh, yeah, we can retcon that. If you, right, you, right, 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 right. So, let's see. Does anybody have proper supplies? I think so. Oh, Ellie has alchemist supplies. She can study it for you. Mm, so, are you giving it to Ellie? Mm. 
What? Hello? Can anybody hear me? What happened? Uh... What's going on? Hello? 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 Is the stream silent too? Can you not hear me? Uh, 
this is weird. Hmm. Hello? Can you really not hear me? Yeah, 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 this uh, Discord won't even start. Like, uh, I can't even start it, it just keeps rotating on starting. And it refuses to connect on my phone as well. Can you- are you all in Discord? Yes, because you're no longer in the stream. Okay, well, um, I apologize that we can't finish this roleplay. But, uh, tell everybody the huge reveal, because as soon as you exit the shop, the amulet that you picked up when you saved Merle glows, and so does the bag of marshmallows, and you are all sucked into the bag of marshmallows and you wake up in a world where the floor the trees and even creatures are fully made of marshmallows and what you see in front of you is this marshmallow elemental standing near this marshmallow elemental Come on, Discord won't start, I just can't do anything about it. Alright, well, we're gonna end here, and I'm gonna come... <gasps> wait, 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 wait! There's hope. Alright, we're gonna end it here real quick and I'm gonna come in from my phone and explain it to everybody else.